Nah, I got any show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Man, we need to do something for fat people. Don't call them that. It's derogatory. Well, you can't call them that. You can't call fat people fat? No, you call them obese. That sounds worse. Well, I didn't make the damn rules. When I think of obese, I think of a whale. Let's go with overweight. I got something better. What? Don't say, say it. it. Don't say it. All right. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this um, overweight person. And she did this video. She's she's what? Um, you she's, know what? Don't call her overweight. That's disrespectful. Call her um, too healthy. This too healthy person. What? She getting too too many nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting way more vitamins and minerals she needs. <laughs> too healthy. You know your body is a storing mechanism, right? You would think your body would like flush out what it don't need, but no, it's like. It's built into our DNA in case, you know, you ain't got nothing to eat. They say it's in our evolution, but. Yeah. But anyway, so she did this video. She's asking that overweight people have. Uh, Don't be- call them that. What? I said too healthy person. I'm about to call off. <laughs> <laughs> this big girl. How many times I got to tell you, man? <laughs> too healthy person. Say it with me. I don't want to. Too no, no. healthy. What are you a Democrat now? No, I ain't no Democrat. Well, stop acting like one. I'm just. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, the state in reality. I, you're being inconsiderate. I'm not being inconsiderate. I'm being you're a, being inconsiderate. No, if I came on. And a quite news. frankly, I think you're being an asshole too. <laughs> <laughs> just call it too healthy, man. Okay, this She's woman. She's sensitive. This woman. She did a video talking about, you know. Um, <laughs> big people get discriminated against. You just call her a big person. <laughs> <laughs> just say too healthy. Is hey, that Kevin. hard? Is that too much to ask? I don't want to say that. You're what not going to control my speech. This what? is damn USA. You, you start acting like a damn Democrat. Now you try to control my speech over <laughs> here. What you trying to say? My damn name is Liberal Kevin now? Yeah. You crazy as hell. Yeah, Liberal Kevin up in here, everybody. <laughs> look at him. Don't he look like a liberal? No, I do not. You looking crazy as hell right I now? I do not look like a liberal. Anyway, I'm just being more considerate. This woman. There you go. Who happens to be on the big side. <laughs> <laughs> she did a video saying uh, big people are getting discriminated against when they fly. They're check, not getting discriminated against. Check out the video. You want to hear my hot take on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second seats. and even third seat on an airplane? Then you better keep watching and sign my petition Please. to make some real change. Let's just state facts. Plus size travelers need more space. And yeah, many people that agree right. that plane seats are too small, even for the average size person. Taking up the whole thing, As a plus size too. traveler myself, I know how uncomfortable and unsafe it can be to squeeze into a tiny airplane seat. We are not asking for special treatment or luxury accommodations. We simply want enough space to travel comfortably and safely without fear of being discriminated against because of our size. It's truly that simple. If you agree that every traveler deserves to fly comfortably and without fear of discrimination, then go ahead and please sign my petition and share it with everybody that you know. Let's work together to make air travel more inclusive and accommodating for everyone. You know what? If you get your way, everybody's ticket's going to like triple. You want these big ass bucket seats? Just like you sitting at a damn Jeep, a uh, damn Grand Cherokee. <laughs> no, a town and country. <laughs> you want town and country seats on on, on airplanes? Look, this is you the saw thing. on that plane, didn't you? She was sitting in the middle of two seats. I want to say this, okay? When I buy a ticket, typically it's two hundred bucks on Southwest. Now, if they make all these seats like luxury and big enough for you, my ticket, they're not going to be able to fit enough people on the plane. Yeah. Right? So the ticket's going to cost more. So my $200 ticket is going to go up to $1,000. Yeah. The, that's why they make the seats the way they is. I mean, it's, and hold up. And you said that you're trying to squeeze in a tiny seat. Look, I'm not a tiny person. That seat is not tiny to me. It's tiny to you. Because you like three of me. That's why it's tiny to you. Yeah. That's not actually a tiny seat. Them seats are huge. They ain't, I wouldn't call them huge. I can stretch out. 
and I'm 6'3". I can stretch out, lean my chair back. I'd be like this. You ain't doing all that. Uh -huh. Maybe in a damn, um, what do you call them seats? We call them seats. I don't know what the hell you talking about. The ones with the, uh, by the door and when the damn business class. No, when the damn plane's going to crash. First class. Emergency. The, the exit row. Emergency exit. The emergency exit. Yeah, emergency exit. The exit row. There's emergency exit row. It's just not an exit. It's emergency exit. In case that bitch crash. <laughs> That's the seat. That's the doors you go out. They call them emergency exits. No, they're on the flight. They tell by it's sitting in the exit row. Hey, are you willing to assist if something go wrong? I'm like, yep. Something go with that plan. I'm the first one off there, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got a family and kids. I got a They were like, yeah, you, you you willing to help? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it just depends how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> if it's five people screaming, then they can get out the way. <laughs> Hey, but um, back to the girl. And you know what, man? I remember I was on this flight, and I'm not even joking, man. No, let me tell my story. <laughs> what? Let me tell you the story. This big dude got on the flight, right? I was sitting in the um, in the aisle seat, right? Big guy comes in. He's get he's got the window. I was like, man, I'm glad I'm glad I got the house. <laughs> <laughs> I got up. He went in. And then it was uh, another dude right there in the middle, and he was all over this dude. He's right? like this. Right? I'm just sitting there laughing. <laughs> That's what I would have told him if I said myself. Get the fuck off of me. <laughs> but anyway, the plane took off. I, I'm not, I'm, I don't know what was, I ain't lying. This wouldn't happen when the plane took off. We was on the damn, um, we call that when you're taxing, we was taxing down the, the runway. runway. Yeah, we was taxing down the runway. The plane said. <laughs> I ain't think we was going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> they got them down. They kicked them down. Boltron afterburners in. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been on a damn plane. It take off and then it come back down <laughs> and hit the ground and bounce up. <laughs> yeah, you know the pilot he's experienced. He said, "Yeah, I got a big one on here. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get a good bouncing out. <laughs> I did him a take off. <laughs> got to get a good bouncing out. Yeah, bam." <laughs> Yeah, getting that damn jet stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, on the landing pass, hey, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a heavy landing. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's all good, but y'all know what's going on. I'm finna to slam this bitch. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> it wasn't one of those big planes. It was one of those little planes. You know, when you take off like this. That shit's scary as hell when you get on them little planes. You can hear the engine. That was American, wasn't it? I think it was American. I think it was American. But you know, I feel for you being a, a too healthy person, you know? You do, you are challenged, but I mean, I think it's a. Uh, don't try to. You're trying to rationalize why you're, you're a big person instead of taking an responsibility for your eating habits. You're getting too many vitamins and minerals. <laughs> Too yeah. many vitamins and minerals, man. You know, you could lose some weight. I mean, it's be it'd be best for you. Yeah. I mean, it would prolong your life. You I've know? never seen a person you, your size you, and 80 years old. Yeah, it could prolong your life, and it could be a lot easier for you on these flights. Yeah, see, you know what it is? You know, you know who I blame? It's this whole woke movement. That's yeah. why she she feels empowered to get on social media and mm -hmm. say these things. Hey, don't you got a video of her shopping? Disability is for everyone. No one should feel ashamed or embarrassed for using the tools they need to navigate the world. Your worth is not determined by your size or ability. What? You deserve to feel comfortable and confident wherever you go. Using mobility aids is a sign of strength and self-care, not weakness or defeat. Don't let anyone what? make you feel otherwise. Don't let anyone else's opinions or judgments hold you back from living your life to the fullest. You are capable and worthy of all the things you desire. 
your body is worthy of respect and care, regardless of its size or shape. Who filmed this shit? <laughs> that is the one of the most uh <clears throat> most what? I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. She said your belly doesn't determine your worth. <laughs> In what world does that make sense? Your ability determines your actual worth in, in the world. Your ideas, what you're willing to bring to the table. Yeah, I'm not. we're not saying you're not worth nothing just because you're big. But it does limit your opportunities. Yeah, because um, some people use it as an um, excuse not to be more ambitious. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, man, but you some, fit but, all. Shut up. You fitting all types of stereotypes in that damn. But some, what you call them things? I thought that was for the uh, handicap. She's handicapped. You think she could walk around the store, Kim? I didn't look at it like that. She is handicapped. But I thought like handicapped, you can't walk. You got a broken leg or something. Oh, think if she walked around that uh, Walmart where she was. Yeah. Yeah, obesity. Can, I mean, if you're too healthy, yeah, it could be a disability. I stop saying that. Saying what? Too healthy. I'm tired of that. She is too healthy. No, nah, you need to stop that. Ain't nothing healthy. Oh nah, man, that, that woman is too healthy. She's got way more vitamins and minerals she she will ever need in her lifetime. But some people, she's too healthy. Some people that's that side D do some of them. I'm not saying all of them, but some of them they don't even eat as much as you think. You would think somebody like that is just sitting down like at a buffet 24 seven and just shoveling shit. Some of these people. So you think that you think she's like eating like three salads a day or something? I didn't say all that, Kevin. Well, I'm saying you is, implying it. <laughs> I'm just saying some people don't eat. The, I'm, I've been, we've been around people that's big mm -hmm. and they don't eat much. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you ain't nothing. You still that big? No, you know, <clears throat> it's, miss, it's missing context. They don't eat a lot in front of you. You don't know what they do when they get home. Around 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. They be they be uh they be slick with it, huh? I had a friend, we had we got a friend, he said, Man, I don't eat nothing today. He's a big guy. And uh he said at night, man, when I get home, man, it's just hmm. <laughs> it gets crazy. I'm going to town. That whole trail lasagna, that stove you see in the grocery store, that's mine. <laughs> I got a loaf of bread on the side. <laughs> After that, I'm not done yet. <laughs> You know that whole chocolate cake you bought in Albertsons the other day? That's my dessert. <laughs> a lot of them, a lot of these two healthy people, they eat too much. But some of them, like I said, they got a hormone problem. Yeah. Their body's just that's a fat I, storing machine. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what she said in that video was kind of crazy. Yeah, but that's not the airline industry's yeah. um, responsibility. That's yours. You got to take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, nobody's discriminating against you. Nobody's saying you now, can't fly. Yeah, if you get on a plane, people are talking down to you. Oh, you, you. If you get on a plane and it's a sign, two healthy people, two healthy people, you're not allowed. That sounds crazy, didn't it? Yeah, stop saying that, man. Well, I'm just trying to be nice, you know. No, oh, she's fat. Just say it. It's fine. It's nothing wrong with this. this we got words in the English language. Oh, man, for but she's got feelings, man. Don't you she to... knows she's fat. She's, don't call her that. And fuck you. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. Nobody's discriminating against you. What? Nobody's discriminating against you. There you go. You left out some damn alphabets in that. <laughs> it's criminal <and> discriminate. <laughs> Ain't nobody, nobody's discriminating against you. It's just you're you are too healthy. Yeah. And you're taking up more than one seat, so you have to buy those seats. And we can't accommodate you. We can't increase the size of our seats on the plane because the deal. shut up. Because if we increase the size of the seats to fit your accommodations, then we can only fit maybe three people in this damn plane. No, this is what you do. See, I'm smart. That was a joke. Went right over your head. You didn't get it, did you? 747? Seats so big you only fit three people? You didn't catch that? <laughs> Shit hey, was funny, too. It went right over your head. Hey, Kevin, let me say something. I'm going to get serious on this. Get serious on this. I know what the airline can do. What? All airplanes have three uh, fat people seats. Hmm, like handicaps, like in a parking lot. 
Yeah, it's the the, the fat people uh, sitting there. Don't call them that. Say too healthy. I'm gonna tell them I gotta tell you that. Kevin, fat. Uh, let's go with obese. No, no, no. Overweight. It, that's 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 that triggers them. Too healthy. Man, you triggered me. You fuck. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Yeah, I know it's a good row, idea. Because I'm smarter than you. <laughs> you have one. You have two big ass seats each side. It won't work on first class though. Yeah, you have to put them in first class. No, no, no. They ain't trying. What to... you gonna put them on the back no, of the plane? No, that, that's that... Jim Crow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you can't do you, that. That would what I what I um, suggested would only work on Southwest because they don't have first class. So mm-hmm. now you asking too much. You taking away the first class. No, I, I love that idea, man. Yeah, but it's I going love to... that idea, so man. Southwest... You are a pioneer, man. No, so you South... should start your own civil rights movement for for two healthy people. No, it would work on. Stop picking and shit. Hold hey, up, stop cutting me off. Stop cutting me off. Man, no, man. I see. I see. I can see a vision. Man. I can see it, man. Stop picking and go. Go ahead and, and hit up this two healthy person. Y'all start on Southwest. holding up picket signs. No, y'all start picking in the um airlines. You know, holding up signs and propose that idea you came up with, man. You can fix all this. You could be like Dr. Martin Luther King for two healthy people. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just put them in the front when the plane comes. <laughs> Good show. Damn good show, man. Damn good show. Hey, I got short videos up here. I got long videos down here. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right? Yeah.